And now for a look at stories making headlines around the world, and we start with the government shutdown in the United States. The Senate has agreed a temporary budget to end the shutdown. And for more on this and other news, we turn to our Duaram at the News Center. Adam, there has been a lot of finger pointing over the past couple of days. Does it look as though if some compromise has been made? Well, Simon, for the time being, it does look that way, and both sides voted on Monday for a temporary funding bill. Senate Democrats dropped their objections in return for assurances from Republican leaders that they will soon take up contentious issues, especially in regards to immigration. Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer said he got that reassurance from Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, but he still expressed frustration at the White House for not engaging in talks. Refused to engage in negotiations over the weekend. The great deal making president sat on the sidelines. Despite and because of this frustration, I've been having conversations with the Republican leader over the weekend about a path forward. After several discussions, offers, counter offers, the Republican leader and I have come to an arrangement. Hundreds of thousands of federal workers should be able to go back to work after Monday's vote is ratified by the House of Representatives and signed by President Trump later in the day. But the funding arrangement will only provide cash to the government for the next two and a half weeks, stopping the shutdown until February 8th. During that period, both parties will try to find common ground on the issue that started the whole impasse, the plight of about 700,000 so-called dreamer immigrants who are brought in, uh, to America illegally as children.